All right, y'all. So Anthony Coleman is going to show me a brief tour of the Tascola, Illinois location. All right. To the left here, uh, to the left of me, you got the uh, CN Champaign District, which is the former Illinois Central line, which goes up to uh, Chicago and down to uh, New Orleans. <coughs> and how many trains does it see in a day, roughly? Roughly about 16 to 20 a day, plus uh, you've got uh, six Amtrak. I thought you said it was around 30 to 40 a day. Yeah, just uh, being conservative. Oh, okay. Um, could be more, could be less. But you do have six Amtrak. Uh, three north, three south. And what are the symbols for those Amtrak trains? 392, 393, 352 and 53, I think. So they do see Amtrak service along this route. Yes, they do. And what line crosses over the Champaign the, District? Is the Union Pacific uh, Villa Grove sub, which goes also from Chicago down to a little town called Gorham, Illinois, and ties in with the Chester. And is that considered a secondary main? Yes, it is a secondary main. But it is busy, sort of, 10... The 16 well, a day, roughly. 10 to 16 a day. The and it's both... The that's, uh, that's okay. over there is the former CSX BNO line, which is now owned by Watco, and that is the, the Decatur and Eastern Illinois. Well, it runs from Decatur, Illinois, over to Terre Haute, Indiana. Okay, give me a tour of that real quick if we walk down. I don't think you can see us. It looks like he's backing up, but. So we're walking down to the, uh, this used to be a double diamond. Over here to the right used to be a interlocking tower called, the tower was called T.Y. Tower. And what year do you think it was demolished? Uh, it was demolished back in the middle 90s, I recall. And what was the name of the watchtower? T.Y. Tower. Was this a former Illinois Central, yes, uh, I mean, a uh, watchtower? Yes, it was a former Illinois Central. They controlled both of these, this interlocking. Back in the 90s, I'm not, not sure exactly when, but uh, they uh, kind of simplified this interlocking with, uh, with CSX and UP to make it a single crossing instead of the uh, double crossing so where do you think where do you think the original Illinois Central searchlight signals used to uh, used to sit here they were about in the same place as the new ones the dark faders yeah, now this used to be a double diamond one for the UP former CENI main and the former Baltimore and Ohio that went to Decatur, which was owned by CSX until several years ago, and uh, they sold it to the uh, Decatur. Was that was that over? Was that old BNO main line? Was that mainly coal traffic? Uh, mainly local traffic that went to. Uh, Decatur. Okay, so which track down here is the Decatur and Eastern Illinois Railroad? Decatur and Eastern Illinois veers off to the right. The Union Pacific veers off to the left. Okay. And that is milepost 150, which is 150 miles on the former Illinois Central from uh, Chicago. And this is the same route that goes through uh, Woodland Junction. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The same line that goes through to Woodland Junction. So, this UP line is more busier at night than it is during the day. Yes. yes and, and how many trains were rerouted when this PSR uh, takeover took place? Oh, there were several that were rerouted. Uh, through, uh, through St. Louis and up. Uh, on the former on a former Southern Pacific line. So, were they mixed freights? Were they intermodels? Both. Intermodels and mixed freights. Uh -huh. And what year did that go to an effect? That was back about 10 years ago, roughly. 
So that was even before PSR. Yep. All right, y'all. So that concludes the brief tour that that I wanted Anthony to do for my YouTube channel of Tascola, Illinois. We're going to be staying here for, I guess, for the next 45 minutes to maybe an hour, and then we'll continue on to head back to Princeton. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, tour, and as always, if you all have any questions about this particular location, feel free to leave in the comments. And before I go, I wanted to show you this uh, utility box here. The Tuscola air locking uh, box here. That controls the whole tube. And then they have their own, looks like a Generac generator that most likely powers it in case of a, a power failure. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.